time for a poll, do you like the work John Shader is doing? My normal gripes with managers usually center around their use of the bullpen. Instead of trying the next reliever, I would rather use one who is performing well for an additional inning. However, it appears that baseball no longer does that. The fact that relievers now throw full out on every pitch contributes to it. On the other hand, a pitcher who just throws an inning can still be used the following day. My argument is that if you use enough pain medicines, you will find the person that evening who is symptom-free. The other is that things will get difficult in extra innings if you exhaust all of your high leverage arms. Although they don't happen as frequently as they once did, extra innings still happen periodically. However, I do recognize that managers are more proximate to the pitchers than we are, are aware of their feelings, and have greater visibility. Additionally, I frequently ran a starter for an additional inning. Once more, the player is better acquainted with the manager and pitching coach than I am. Since I'm older and probably don't see things they do, it bothers me when a starter who is performing well exits the game after 80 pitches. A manager once told me, we are going to be more aggressive. When the coach persuades the players to be more aggressive, I detest it. We encounter far too many outs as a result of our desire to be aggressive. I believe that when guys reach the majors, they are aware of when they can push themselves and when they shouldn't. They sometimes disregard their common sense even when you advise them to be aggressive. Guys stealing third offend me. I believe that taking third should only be done if you are very certain that you will be safe and only if there is an out. You are on second place and there are no outs. The inning is off to a good start. Let's see what happens. You will score from second on any hit if there are two outs and you have the speed to steal. Every manager hears complaints about the way the lineup is put together. I don't like doing it. I once was. When we had Paul Molitor and Roberto Alamar on the roster, Cito batted Devin White in the leadoff spot. However, we also know that there is a 5% swing between the greatest lineup and the worst.